So there's this really incredible book um, that I've been, you know, feasting sounds like a strong word, but I really have been feasting on it for the last few years. It's written by two uh, epidemiologists from the UK. So an epidemiologist is someone who studies disease. So Richard Wilkins and Kate Pickett, they're extremely experienced. You can find their work online. They started digging into about 30 or 40 years ago, why do people die? You know, and so they started big. They looked at country, you know. Why do some people in some countries die younger than others? And and then they started hunting for the reasons for death. And pretty soon that they stumbled onto a really interesting piece of information. And it was around inequality. And they were looking at developed countries. So you're talking about you know, Sweden, Japan, America, UK. And they started figuring out this trend that the more unequal a country was, the higher the levels of anxiety, depression, alcohol abuse, obesity, and all of that kind of led to earlier deaths. You know, the higher levels of equality, you think about the Scandinavian countries, so, you know, uh, Norway, Sweden, Denmark, the higher, the, m the less difference between the poor and rich, the lower the levels of anxiety, the lower depression, uh, better score marks, less obesity, less drug and alcohol abuse. And so it's a fascinating study and um, they've built on it almost for 30 years and kind of come to this pretty solid conclusion that humans really battle with inequality, uh, like deep inside us, inequality hurts us, you know? And uh, so maybe like me, you add a robot and seeing someone who doesn't have food to eat bothers you. Maybe like me and you drive past a township and you know, that bothers you that I, you know, we, some of us have so much and some people have so little and maybe it bothers you corruption and uh, why people aren't being served through our democracy, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Maybe you, you're not like me and that's totally fine. And to be honest, you don't really spend a lot of time thinking about that right now. And you've got a pretty solid plan to uh, move overseas and, and pursue the best life you can, you know, which is awesome. And uh, I don't think anyone's saying right or wrong. Um, I think the intention of this course is, is threefold. The first thing we, I wanna encourage all of us, and that's based on the book, it's The Spirit Level, is that independent of whether we recognize inequality or don't, it hurts us. You know, it hurts us at a couple levels. It hurts us inside us. You know, anxiety and depression, that feeling of angst, fear, crime, those things hurt us, you know, and they're amplified by inequality. So even if we, we're not leaning in and listening to those fears across the board, everyone sitting in the classroom, is a, the, based on their research, very good chance that, that you're feeling it. The second thing is that you, we, we're right here now, you know, and so um, beyond just feeling that, because that feeling can be terrifying, right? Um, I think what the aim of this course is to give you a measure of control, you know, is to prepare you for not just the fear of the feeling, but to take control of that fear and do something practical with it. And so we're gonna focus on the one thing that you have in your control and that's yourself. You know, and in this course, we're gonna equip you to not just feel the terrors of inequality, but lean into that feeling and come out of the other side with what um, Zach and I had, as you saw in the film before, and that's friendship. And so the focus of this, this, this course is really on making connection the cause and forming friendships. And we're going to do that by focusing on, on, on uh, our prejudice, our privilege and admiration so that we can create connections. And my hope is that on the other side of this, the South Africa we all live in and share will be a little less scary. You'll be better equipped to make connections at like your cause. Um, and, you know, who knows? If, if enough of us do that really, really well, there's a pretty good chance that we can actually serve and love those who have a lot less than us, you know, which is a beautiful thing. So looking forward to spending the next four weeks with you. Thank you so much for your time.